Curry Life is hosting its culinary workshop here at the Crown Plaza in London, Docklands. We will be hearing experts from the hospitality industry to say what the future trends are and have been since post-pandemic. We will be hearing and seeing live demonstrations of live uh, workshop and we have a few experts who will be giving advice and telling us the trends of this hospitality industry. This is Sabia Katoon for VOD Talk. is now cautiously opening up for business. Our main focus today will be to start looking at the life after pandemic and discuss recovery plan for the curry industry. We have many experts and experienced business personalities present today. We will try to get their views and opinion and will report back via Curry Life to rest of the industry. I am sure you are now familiar with the new term pandemic. Well, let me tell you, it had already created disruptions for us this evening. Some of our speakers could not make it because they have had to self-isolate. Even then, we have a very interesting program planned this evening. We have important contributions from our invited speakers on specific subjects, and we also have one of the most creative and innovative chef who is known as the Curry Queen, demo cooking of dish picked up for latest cookbook, Vegan and Vegetarian Indian Cooking. Just Eat is our proud sponsor for tonight's evening. Unfortunately, they are not here tonight, but I would like to thank Just Eat on behalf of the Curry Life team for their ongoing support. We would like to extend our warm gratitude to our sponsors Unisoft and Travelink and Abdul Kahir from Crown Kitchen, who will be providing us with a delicious dinner tonight. I am sure you all enjoy the canopies and starters. Thank you to the curry industry's common friend, Samson Sohel. Today's evening is dedicated for learning and exchanging new ideas with professionals and experts from hospitality industry. We have a very interesting evening of discussion and learning. So without further delay, let's hear from the man himself. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Saeed Bilal Ahmed, editor of Curry Life magazine and all about today's event. first event of our industry. A lot of people, because of all that, go to start. It's sending me messages. So I hope they can join at some point. 
so good to see a lot of friends. I am not a speaker, I'm a writer, but I want to start with, with the sad news I got when I got here. One of our car industry veteran from Sussex, he was suffering with illness, not COVID, but unfortunately passed away. His name, a lot of you know, Yafurali. Kent, from Kent. Yafurali, Yafurali of Kent, North Sussex, North Sussex, sorry. But he's very well known Ketana. We pray for his souls. The other things, we know a lot of friends uh, from our industry lost their lives, suffered from COVID, and also their businesses suffered. And we are not exception in Kali life. My two brothers, two eldest brothers, Pasha Senior and Pasha Junior, some of you know Pasha Junior. Pasha Senior, who is based in Bangladesh, they both, both suffered from COVID. Fortunately, they survived. I had different health issues. I've been locked in for two years. So this is kind of my freedom day. Yeah. So good to see you all. So please bear with me. I, this event is very close to our heart because why we do it every year? We get every one in expert in their different field in hospitality industry to help us and encourage our chefs and restaurateurs to raise the standard of the industry. So people from cross cultures join us in this platform usually. Some of our good friends um, from different uh, type of cuisine couldn't make it here, but their best wishes with us. You know, we, we've got the excuse why they couldn't be here. And that's one of the issues the whole industry is suffering. Government did open up, but there are a lot of challenges. We don't know where we will end up, but it will take a long time for us to recover from COVID. But I am very, very optimistic. I'll tell you why. I was born in Bangladesh, okay? And although I lived in this country for over 40 years, but majority of the restaurants, as you know, are people of Bangladeshi, Indian or curry houses, are people of Bangladeshi origin, run by people of Bangladeshi origin. And we are very resilient people. We survive war, cyclone, every natural calamity, and we survive. So we are fighters, and we'll fight them and get our industry on track. We would not surrender to COVID or any pandemic. We have to be careful. We cannot ignore pandemic. We have to look after ourselves. But I'm sure if we fight back together, we can get our business back, get our life back. So I'm very, very optimistic that we will bounce back with our business, without hesitations. It matter of time. But of course, we need to improve and make changes. The pandemic has given us a lot of lessons, you know, about digital media marketing, having digital presence, you know, online ordering, a lot of other things, I'm sure. People are looking into technology, adopting new technologies. However, I want to warn you with one thing. There are issues in our industry we need to handle very sensitively and carefully. There is a 
campaign going that we should adopt new technology. Of course, we should. We should adopt new technology. We should modernize. I have no issue with that. Some people suggesting that in order to make things quicker, <coughs> have here the wonderful Mridula and she actually is a, a very well renowned uh, chef she is she specializes in healthy vegan um, and would like to hear what she has to say why she is here today uh, Mridula really lovely to meet you um, please tell us why you're here today and how you feeling I'm here today because I've been invited by Curry Life magazine uh, to talk about healthy eating and about my latest cookbook as well. I have written 27 Indian cookery books. This is 20, number 28 and it's all about vegetarian and vegan, which I feel very strongly about because I think, I'm not saying that people shouldn't eat meat, but should really definitely eat more vegetables and lentils please because they are healthy for you mm -hmm. and they're healthy for the planet so yeah that's yeah. what I'm going to demonstrate today later on. Midla, um, we know that uh, vegan dishes don't have to be boring. Um, tell us what interesting ways do you prepare? You know it's very easy to uh, to adapt Indian food into vegan because some of them are naturally vegan anyway and I just avoid things like paneer, um, dairy milk yeah. and cheese because there's lots of vegan alternatives available in the market. Instead of paneer you can use tofu, mm -hmm. firm tofu okay. and there's uh, vegan butter, vegan milk even vegan cream, which I brought along with me. Well, you must be very passionate because you've done, is it 27 books? Yes. Cookery books. You have your own show for uh, uh, Middle East Kitchen, I believe. Yes. Um, and you've got another book on the way soon as well. Yeah, that book Tell is... Tell us all, about yeah. that. That book is all about... It's called uh, Spice Secrets. It's uh, like a doorway to the uh, wonderful world of spices how they contribute to your health yeah because not many people know that every spice we use has health benefits sure yeah so i'm highlighting those brilliant so you found a new way to adapt um, and make it tasteful yes and i hope the evening goes well for you thank you so much thank i'm you. looking forward to it thank, thank you, you. Unfortunately, is unable to make the event this evening. However, we do have a short, um, a live update, shall I say, actually. From Good evening, the... ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coleman Core. I'm the fundraising director at the British Asian Trust. I'm so sorry I cannot be there with you tonight. I was all dressed up and ready to go, but unfortunately, luck has uh, not gone my way and uh, I've blown a tire which won't, uh, won't fix. I'm waiting for the RAC man uh, to come and save the day. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for choosing the British Asian Trust as the Curry Live charity partner. Um, I have with me the keynote speaker here, uh, Salima. Um, really lovely to meet you. Oh, thank you. Uh, tell us, um, how have you come here to support and what is it that uh, um, attracted you to this uh, Curry Live culinary workshop? Sure. Um, I represent, my company is called KBOX, KBOX Global, and I'm the founder CEO. And uh, we work with independent restaurant owners and uh, hotels and, and pub groups around the, the world to help them increase their revenue um, through food delivery and uh, also uh, give an end-to-end -end technology solution software platform for independent restaurants to upgrade them so that they can transition to the digital age and I am here to support the 
um, ethnic minority independent restaurant. So, and Curry Life is such a great supporter of that that I wanted to, to be here for that. Brilliant. I'd like to thank uh, Saeed Bilal and Naz Pasha of Curry Life for hosting such a wonderful event and inviting me to share some thoughts with you today. I think we can all acknowledge the outstanding contribution that Curry Life has made to the hospitality sector through hosting events and providing invaluable content through their trade publications. I have here an expert in social media, um, so he will share with us how you're here to support and you know why why are you here for this curry life um, i've been wondering what, the same thing uh, but, but <laughs> I think please kindly share your thoughts yes of course well i am a i'm a reporter for the magazine uh, I, i'm their northern correspondent i'm the chap they send around all the northern restaurants uh, but in my career before that i was a, a social media expert uh, you know ran a, a couple of uh, departments with various companies but i think at the moment there's a lot of restaurants out there that aren't, aren't utilising digital marketing where well, they should be, and it's free for a lot of it. You know, like things like Twitter, having a Facebook account, a Google listing, things like that are very important, very, very helpful. And we need more, more restaurants need to take advantage of it, especially now where it's so crucial. Because um, there are another lot, there are restaurants out there who might not survive another lockdown if they don't take more measures to market themselves and get out there. And sometimes it's something simple, and something free. It might be as simple as setting up uh, an Instagram page, sharing pictures of the food. Because things like that are a big deal now. Uh, so that's what it is. It's just telling people to. Like it can be intimidating. That, that sort of media now. Well, it sounds like this is one of the adapting. Yeah. Um, you know, trends that really people should look into and it seems like social online social media is, is one of the ways forward yeah, to definitely. help them. It's even little things that like people not realising they should take ownership of their Google listing. Right. It costs a little bit of money, but it's 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 worth it. Because the first thing people will do is they'll Google a restaurant or the local area. And if you're not there, if your listing isn't up to date, you run the risk of not being found. So you re it's just little things like that. Uh, or Facebook. Facebook is still by a mile as the biggest community out of any social media page. But it's a lot of people just don't aren't using it. It's in my job today. Uh, Pasha and Bilal have just asked me to uh, take time away from writing about curry and just give out some advice. Have a little chat with the guys here. I've only got five minutes. They'll be rushing me off after five minutes, uh, but I'm just going to do what I can. Yeah. Hey, um, we're here from Bod Talk, and uh, we're, we're very interested to find out. Why are you here and supporting this Curry Life culinary workshop today? Well, thanks to my wife, Rita Payne, uh, we've been invited every year uh, for the last few years. Of course, recently it had to be uh, cancelled uh, because of the pandemic, uh, but it's great that we're able to come and enjoy the celebra and celebrate uh, Curry Life events. They're always wonderfully organised and very convivial, and the food, of course, is magnificent. <laughs> And we can't wait to get enough of it. So Brilliant. thank you very much. It's very, very good to be back. Brilliant. I have a, a very, very special uh, person here and um, we would love to hear why you're here today um, and I believe you know you hold a very, very renowned position here. Please tell us about that. Well, first of all, the Commonwealth Journalists Association exists to promote journalism and protect journalists across the Commonwealth. And the organizers of this event, Said Nahas Pasha and Said Bilal Ahmed have been with this organization for many, many years. They're senior members and we've been working together. And I feel, A, out of loyalty to them and their contribution that I want to return what I can for all they've done for us over the years. And then more importantly, yes. they have single-handedly put the curry industry on the map. Brilliant, over brilliant. the years yes. and what is so remarkable is that they've gone beyond you know just South Asia and Asia to reach out and introduce curries all over the world yes. from Norway America 
you know, every part of the world. There's no limit. So the curry has no borders. And this is why I'm very excited about it. And of course, curry is delicious. Yes, well, I can see the passion in you for all of that. And it sounds like that we must go global to educate and learn and even pass on some uh, of that. Do you agree that, you know, there should be more global interaction happening? Absolutely. And with globalization, it makes sense that even food doesn't recognize borders. And people in the world have become much more enlightened. They're adventurous. They want to know. They travel around the world. So this is the best time ever to promote curries. Because curries, you know, whether you're at one state, if you know, they almost said it's Britain's main dish every Friday night people have had curries sure. and now we want this to be the same story across the rest of the world. Yes. We have another supporter here. Um, I believe you are part of the organising. Yes, that's yes. right. Yes. Um, tell us um, how did it all go? Um, well obviously we're just um, at the beginning of the event and but I think everyone here is, is really happy to be at an event for the first time in many months and to be able to see um, people from the industry and their peers and to share knowledge and to share experiences and just really to get together. Yes. Um, for the, Do you for the feel some sort of normality is coming back? I think so, yes. Obviously it's very early days and we don't really know how things will pan out later on but I think everyone's hopeful that this is the first step towards normality coming back. Brilliant. So I have Dr. Zaki Rizwana here today uh, as one of uh, the renowned guests and she will tell us how it was for her and what she actually witnessed for this Curry Life magazine's culinary workshop. Please share with us. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I think it's, it's a very unique program today because it's not only um, people are getting awards, it's just uh, they are exchanging the views and they, they are showing the techniques. Actually, they cooked in front of us and then we tried, you tried as yes, well. Yes, the live demonstration. Live demonstration. Yes. And the other things that I like is um, they mentioned about the current struggles and uh, how you can overcome and how you can do your business. Because I always say that the pandemic has changed the whole structure of the, this uh, hospitality uh, sector mm -hmm. because uh, we used to go to restaurant and uh, now restaurant is coming to us because in last one two years I have ordered so many times in uh, in, in pandemic I was so busy and I started ordering takeaway yes so um, yeah so there were so some you found yourself ordering more takeaway yeah over yeah, the pandemic yeah, yeah yeah in one sense it was supporting the small business well I, I particularly did that because I thought that I, I I never I, I didn't go to the restaurants far away although I know there are good restaurants there because but I thought that I should encourage them you know the local they are suffering so um, because before the pandemic I have I never ordered food from them right. and the thing is personally I think you know people when people were there they were saying that you should concentrate on social media Instagram and the you know mm. uh, mm -hmm. TikToks whatnot yeah. but personally I think. I mean, you usually don't drive, not you, not usually don't drive 10 miles to mm. go to a good restaurant. You go to your local mm. restaurants. And I think every restaurant, they should know about the demography of the area. Right. Because no matter how much you uh, advertise on social media, you need to know. Because if you have, a, like, in my area, where there are a lot of elderly people, mm. so no matter how much time and money you spend on social media, it doesn't work. Because well, funny you should say that. We have had Sam, who is a social media expert, mm. who did give some advice yeah. and said, you know, the restaurants need to have um, a little bit more knowledge about Instagram and Facebook because uh, the, the way forward is digital marketing. Exactly. You know. I, was, I was about yes. to come and mention this topic. So what I think is you need to know your demography first yes. and then you can't, can't generalize that oh you, uh, you distribute leaflets that's the best way or you put your nice glossy pictures on Instagram that's the be no. best way. There is no one way for that and another thing I think people were discussing about the automation yes they were saying that you, whether you should use the um, electric devices yes. to cook yes. what what I think you should use um, technology when it comes to the service and uh, the delivery things because 
if if it takes more than 10 minutes to order the food yes i'm not going there no. so they should i mean for efficiency cooking, is important very yes, important yes. and two more Thank things you. which are which i think is important is how you receive your if we have another supporter yes. here tell us how you're supporting i know you are part of the unisoft team uh tell us uh, your uh thoughts um I'll start by telling you what Unisoft does. We support, we provide EPO system in-house for restaurants and takeaways as well as online ordering systems. Um, we're here, uh, we work very closely with uh, Curry Life and we're just sponsoring the event, uh, hoping to give out demonstrations and bring in new clientele. Brilliant, brilliant. And how do you think it's helping, um, you know, restaurants, you know, with services such as yourself? I don't think you could order anything without us, to be honest. Okay. Um, we provide tablets for more modern like, day-to-day waiters. Uh, we provide uh, EPO systems in general for uh, everyone. Uh, a lot of grocery stores use it as well nowadays. Um, uh, all online ordering, we uh, we integrated very well with Just Eat, Deliveroo, Uber Eats and uh, other takeout services. I have um, another restaurant uh, here um, who will share his thoughts why he's here today. Um, kindly tell us where is uh, your restaurant and um, what made you come to this culinary workshop today? Uh, my restaurant is based in Northwich, which is a town in Cheshire. And the reason I come is I, I came a couple of years ago. Uh, I won an award and uh, I thought, you know, what a great event it was. I thought I'll come in today and see uh, what this culinary... Did you bring your team with you today? Yeah. yeah well, are they here? I, I couldn't get my team. Okay. My team is working hard at the restaurant. Okay. Uh, but I got my friends, uh, my lovely friends. and. Okay, you come uh, to support the yeah, chef yes, yeah. from uh, another restaurant. But he's here as a guest today to support. So, um, chef, tell us uh, how you're feeling and um, what way will you be supporting? Are you here to support any particular restaurant or anyone? No, I just came to have a look because I am the guest, you know, and uh, they invite me to uh, join here to, uh, like, encourage the participants. Brilliant. And it's fantastic. It's, yes. It's, it's good, good to be here. Yeah. As I see there's a nice crowd, you know, people uh, yes. and the chefs out there. Doing a little bit of normality. Yeah, this is a normality, yes. As soon like I see there's lots of people gathering, right? and it's fantastic. I have few supporters here, uh, organizations. I think this is Unisoft, yeah. and they're here to support the uh, Curry Life magazine uh, culinary workshop. Um, why have you chosen Curry Life uh, to support, and um, how, how is the experience so far that you've been here? Well, uh, we've been with Curry Life for last about, I think, just over four years. And, um, our, our director, the Unisoft director, is um, uh, involved with the Curry Life magazine, and from there we actually sponsored as well as uh, we've got um, a partnership uh, in uh, customer dealing as well. So that's how we actually involved. All right. Okay. Um, tell us um, why you're here at this Curry Life culinary workshop. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we just after lockdown. Uh, it's, this is the first event we come out to see a lot of our familiar faces and uh, meet a lot of our, our friends. So just getting uh, to know what, what they have gone through and also catch up with, uh, uh, with, 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 the, with them. Brilliant. Yes, we have another guest here, but you have your own uh, restaurant. Um, but you're here today as a guest to support, I believe. That's right, yeah. Yeah, tell us uh, your experience of... Well, I'd like to thank you to Curry Life to invite me here. Such a wonderful evening today. And uh, all the chef um, is here. They are great chef, there's no doubt. And I'd like to give me a um, bright future to Curry Life. And um, I was a Curry Life chef as well, and I'm proud to myself. But tell us why you're here today. and. Um you know, for this Curry Life Culinary Workshop. How are you participating today? Well, I came as a guest, but um, there is a lot of things to be learned here because the way we run the restaurant before, 
we cannot run it now because our new generation will take it over and a lot of thing, new things to be created, new things to be improved our curry, curry restaurant because if we run it in old, old way it will not work. So yes. we have to learn a lot of things. We, I, I like to say thank you to so I'm joined by uh, a couple of uh, people here, one of the chefs as well from the Fat Buddha. Let's hear why they're here and will they be doing a live demonstration? Please well, kindly tell us. Well this is our first year here at the Curry, curry um, Live event and yeah I've got my chef here, main chef at the Fat Buddha and yeah he'll be doing a demonstration of cooking, our, yeah, cooking skills and yeah basically we're here to mi mix and match with other people and learn and try and improve. Okay. Are you doing anything different now since the post-pandemic? Um, we've got obviously our still our social distancing rules and everything like that. But um, no, it's not. I think it's really nice now to have some customers finally in the door. It's been depressing for the last few months. And yes, yeah, nice to see people coming. Okay, I door. have with me here a few chefs here who will be doing some live demonstrations at this uh, culinary workshop. Let's find out. Um, and here, you know, how they're feeling at this moment. Um, hello, chefs. Um, really great to see you all here. Um, how are you feeling today and, and why are you here today? Uh, number one, I mean, like, we are very excited. After 16 months in uh, Curry Life is taking an event, we are very pleased. And I think it's very nice because we can show what we're doing today to the other, encourage other people as well. So I think it's something after 16 months, it's quite a nice break for Curry Life doing that thing and give us the opportunity to show something what we are going to do today. Okay. So I think it will be very nice. Yes. And uh, are you all from the same restaurant or no, are you uh, from, you're from? I'm from Chatham, Kent. Okay. And everybody from different area. Okay. One from uh, London, Central London, and he's from uh, uh, Newcastle. Newcastle. And we've got oh. another chef from uh, local as well. I think. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Along with chefs Abul Mansour, Chef Sayyid Zuharul Islam, Chef Vijay Singh Talwar, and Chef Zafar Salim Uddin. Good evening, everyone. I think it looks like we've got everything sorted. And I am very happy to see you all after well, eight, about 18, 19 months now. And I am really, really proud to be here. And I want to thank Sayyid Bilal and Pasha, uh, for inviting me once again. During the pandemic, lots of people have had second thoughts about eating too much flesh. And I totally agree with you. I'm not a vegetarian, but I prefer vegetarian. And vegan food is actually nothing new to India. A lot of our dishes are naturally vegan anyway. Um, we just need to avoid, if you want to be vegan, just use tofu instead of paneer. You can get the farm variety of tofu. And if you want to, you obviously want to avoid dairy, so you can have just lots of vegan options nowadays, poppy seeds and sesame seeds. They are both very good for you. Sesame seeds are full of omega-3, which is good for you, just like eating um, Thank you. <laughs> Okay, all right. And eyes on me, please. That's three, two. Round of applause, please. 
Taste of Nawab London. Tip the top of the city. No, tip, tip. That's it. And just a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Thank you. Tip the top again. Tip forward. Forward and back. That's it. Tip the top, Lisa. Push it, push it, push it forward. That, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Three, two, and eyes on me. Thank you very much. Salim Uddin, the fat Buddha. Tip the top of the certificate. Just uh, sh sham, sh oh, I'm busy, I'm yeah. <laughs> And just a little bit lower. Fantastic. Three, two, eyes on me, please. We have to tip it a bit more. Push it forward. The top. That's it. And three, two. <laughs> and eyes on me, three two, eyes on me, eyes on me, eyes on me. Some of them have been working other side of Blackwell Tunnel for three hours. Uh, so uh, they had to go back. And they thought the program had started anyway. Uh, thank you a uh, lot of my media friends here, as well as you know, uh, a lot of the top cadres of Bhojbubai is here, Bhojbubai is as long as uh, you know, I'll carry life, uh, and uh, uh, you know, any any event we do, he is always with us. Uh, Pasha Bai, Munim Bai, BCA leaders, uh, UK BCCI leader, you know, uh, Lulu Bai, Mohib Bai, you know, uh, there is two Mohib, uh, both Mohib Bai, you know, my friend Atik Chaudhary, they all always, you know, Shanil Khan is here, always been uh, you know, uh, uh, helping us on uh, doing things. Uh, I might forget some name. Amirul is here, his colleague, we are the group, and uh, we, uh, I also thank our, you know, no event we could do without him. And everyone in the curry industry knows him. Samson Suhel. Samson Kai is always, you know, I don't think anybody else understands the British curry industry more than Samson Bai. You know, he, he really understands the industry and he is always, uh, you know, uh, uh, there for uh, anybody who wants uh, help. Samson Bai is there. I have some guests, they come from as far as Manchester. Uh, Jahangir, he has got a beautiful restaurant called Bombay Key. If anyone go into Northwich, you must visit this restaurant. It's really, really beautiful restaurant. He comes from all the way uh, from Northwich. And I have uh, a gentleman here, Sulman Ali. He's got a lovely restaurant in Bedford. He brought his friend, Shabal Mia. And uh, there's another gentleman, Mohizullah. Mohizullah has a restaurant in Hatfield. I uh, might forget some of them. We've got a great chef whose you know, food is really, really Top is Rayashankar Sharma, who is sitting uh, there. He has worked in top restaurants in India, uh, I mean, top hotels in India. So, yeah, he sort of uh, has got a new restaurant called Heritage in uh, South London. So, that's good. We have people from Darlington, uh, you know, uh, Mohan Mia. We have Akhtaraz Bai from, uh, he's got uh, several restaurants uh, from Princess Resbora. And if I forget anybody else's name, I have a, a, a other friend, uh, uh, you know, some of the uh, the gentleman from Fat Buddha, Sharif Ali. He speaks Tura Tura Sileti. <laughs> uh, and his chef is, uh, of course, uh, uh, as a very uh, good chef. I also thank Crown Kitchen for the lovely food. 
they wanted to uh, sort of, you know, uh, help us uh, in, in, in this event and, uh, you know, and their food will, some of uh, you have tried and some of you will try the main dish, you know, and I must also thank Crown Plaza team, Cobra Beer, Free Trade Drinks, Curry Life Chefs Club, you know, and some of them are here, the musician, uh, Unisoft team, Unisoft Tipu, uh, everyone knows that's Tipu, you know. Tipu is very popular in uh, Indian restaurant industry, who's been, he was one of the first pioneer of Hippo system from 23 years. And of course, no event is run smoothly without our event manager, Suchita Patel. She has been working with Curry Life for the last several years. You know. Great Suchita, she, she just takes a well, lot of our pain. And uh, I think uh, a lot of other friends, uh, if I don't uh, name them, some of them they couldn't make, you know. Uh, so I, uh, I also thank uh, Travel Link. Uh, he sort of owed me a lot of tickets because I couldn't travel last, last year, you know, because of the pandemic. So Sami Bai, you, you, you know, when pandemic goes, I'll be on the plane every month, okay? Yeah. So thank you, I think I have, if I forget anybody's name, so thank you, thank you and uh, we'll see our next event is 10th of October which is a much bigger event, Curry Life Awards in uh, uh, Royal Lancaster Hotel. And I hope the situation, the pandemic situation will get better. You know, we missed uh, another person uh, uh, in tonight's event who is away, Lord Colon Villarmoya, who is a great supporter of Curry Life and our industry. And I'm sure he will be there on, uh, you know, 10th of October. Uh, I think that's about it. I think everyone, uh, please forgive, forgive me if I don't, if I didn't mention your name, and we'll see you this year on 10th of October. Enjoy the dinner uh, by Crown Kitchen. We have here all the chefs who have received the certification for tonight's Curry Life Culinary uh, Workshop. And uh, it has been a, an eventful night. Um, so we have chef from the Capital Restaurant. Please tell us how do you feel and um, very well deserved. Tell us something about tonight. Uh, I'm really enjoy the event tonight about the curry life. Curry life make the event the culinary workshop after two years. Thank, I'm, I'm, thank, give you thanks to the curry life again. Thank you. You need to put this on your mouth. Yeah? Okay. So we have a chef from Taste of Nawab restaurant, Abdul Rahman. Tell us, um, you know, about tonight and uh, how did that go? It's been fantastic. It's been a wonderful night tonight for all of our chefs anyway here, and it's been fantastic. I mean, it's something. It's an opportunity. You come out anyway. You enjoy yourself, and you meet all the chefs, and you meet everybody else. This is brilliant. This is really, really fantastic idea. I love the idea. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Vijay Singh Panwar from Consultant Chef. Um, tell us your thoughts on this certification that you've received. Yeah, I'm Consultant Chef with Curry Life from last six years. And I am always with all, every, every event with Curry Life. I enjoy tonight as usual, every, every event. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And then we have here Chef uh, Abul Mansoor from Taj Cuisine. Tell us your experience in this certification. Uh, for the, you know, big thank you to Curry Life. It was a wonderful uh, event. And after, because of uh, lockdown and everything, I think we had a wonderful, wonderful time. And uh, we meet a lot of different chefs and everything. It was wonderful. Thank you. Brilliant. And then we have Chef Jafar Salim Uddin from the, the Fat Buddha. Please tell us your thoughts. Okay, uh, curry life is really nice. I know them for ages, but this is first time I participate on this program. And we, I mean, I meet a lot of other chefs, and I think I learn more things about from more things from them anyway. Brilliant. Thank you. So I Thank have you. here with me Said Naz Pasha, the man of tonight's curry life culinary uh, workshop uh, evening. Could you conclude for us how the night went tonight? Um, I, I know it's been very eventful. 
fantastic because uh, it is uh, it was the first event of the curry industry uh, after uh, I, I must say almost one and a half years and after the lockdown and uh, everyone uh, was here and everyone was sort of hoping that you know a uh, pandemic goes away soon and you know at least they can uh, uh, do their business uh, safely uh, there are a lot of issues around uh, you know uh, ho whole hospital sector uh, now the infections is going up and people are scared uh, scared of uh, you know track and trace and everything and uh, because they have to yes. close that. Hopefully their, after tonight yeah. they can see some normality. Absol ab absolutely and uh, uh, and this is why everybody wanted to come out and support us as well as you know uh, meet other people. Definitely and I know we have learned a lot today with some of the experts you've had here today and the speakers you know such as uh, Sam from social media, um, you know, uh, experts, and then you've had um, the chefs, you know, who, uh, Mridullah, for example. Um, everyone displayed some knowledge that everyone can take away with them. That is amazing for Curry Life to host. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of event takes place in our curry industry, but one of the things what we uh, believe and we want to do, we want to not always uh, do other things. We want to contribute to the industry as well. This is why we want to bring the skills up. We want to bring the, uh, you know, uh, uh, people who are uh, successful in business to out. And that's why we organize uh, this event every year. Despite anything else, I think this is one of the event uh, uh, the industry people look for. Yes, it's the best way to connect and unite and support each other. Absolutely. absolutely. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. An Thank event you. full of packed with insight and future trends. We have heard from the experts and the uh, hospitality um, restauranters how um, much advice and how much they have learned from each other. And it has come to know that um, the social media, the online social media, is one of the ways to have uh, your business adapt if you want to go forward in your uh, business here. And um, it has been a great uh, evening with certification given to uh, seven uh, participating chefs from across England here um, with their award-winning and live demonstrations. Um, it has been a pleasure today here at the Crown Plaza having a beautiful networking dinner and uh, a curry life a culinary workshop, an eventful evening. This is Sabia Katoon for Vod Talk in London.